Stan Jubilisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey 1. Good vibrations. Here to show you how you can make an antenna that will generate a circularly polarized wave. These are the basic fundamental concepts for the uh, antenna as it exists mechanically. Two half-wave dipoles, one oriented horizontally, the other one oriented vertically. They both lie in the same plane, that is the plane of the screen that you're looking at. Notice that I've left gaps at the feed points and there's an important reason for doing that. In order to get a circularly polarized wave, you must feed these two antennas 90 degrees out of phase with each other. That is to say, in phase quadrature. If you feed it in phase quadrature with the red antenna lagging behind the blue antenna, the wave will go in one direction and if you reverse the phase so that uh, they're in phase quadrature in the other sense the wave will go in the opposite direction but in either case the electromagnetic wave produced by these antennas will be perpendicular to the screen and will have circular polarization it's important though that they be fed 90 degrees out of phase if you feed these two antennas in phase you'll simply get an electric field vector that is the average of the electric field vectors from the two antennas either going like that or else going like that depending on which antenna is in which phase I'm sure you can imagine how that would work easily enough if the antennas are fed in phase or in phase opposition. However, if you feed them in phase quadrature and if the signal in both antennas is of the same strength, you're going to get a circularly polarized wave. The vector of the, electro, uh, of the electric field component of the wave is going to rotate as it comes at you or goes away from you. And I'm not going to worry here, and neither should you, about which sense is right-handed and which sense is left-handed for the direction of the rotation of the electric lines of flux because for optics they use one convention and for electromagnetic waves they use the opposite co convention. Uh, things, things have to be uh, if they can be complicated, engineers have to take advantage somehow in different disciplines to complicate things. I don't know exactly why that is. Maybe it's a some sort of weird, perverse, cosmic law. But uh, nevertheless, we won't worry about it. We'll simply worry about or be concerned about the fact that the electric field vector rotates either clockwise or counterclockwise as it moves towards or away from you. One complete 360 degree electric line of flux rotation for every wavelength that the wave moves through space. There is an excellent little animation video that shows how this works very very clearly and uh, I really love that video because it it, it demonstrates precisely why you get circular polarization with phase quadrature but if the two antennas are fed in phase or in phase opposition then you just get another linearly polarized wave. The electric lines of flux run parallel to the radiating element. The magnetic lines of flux seldom mentioned run perpendicular to the electric lines of flux but in the same plane as the electric lines of flux. So if we consider the antennas to lie in the plane of your screen then 
the red antenna here is showing a vertically polarized wave or is generating a, a vertically polarized wave because the electric lines of flux run parallel to the radiating element. Similarly, the blue antenna is generating a horizontally polarized wave because the electric lines of flux run parallel to the radiating elements, but in the plane of the screen. The magnetic lines of flux simply run at a right angle to whatever uh, the electric lines of flux run at, but still in the plane of the screen. The direction of wave travel is perpendicular to the plane containing both the electric and magnetic lines of flux, so that means it comes either at you or runs away from you. But again, I will include a link to that really cool video in the description of this one, so don't miss it. Just click on the extra information down below this video and there'll be your link and just go to it and then pray that your th your thing has JavaScript enabled so <laughs> that it won't tell you this deadpan. Oh no, your your thingy won't work with that thingy, and you're out of luck. Have a better day. <laughs> Stangibalisco is said enough, except seventy three, which means best regards in ham radio jargon. And so long, which, in my native fist, shall forever ever and ever after translate to da 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 da.